Well, Yasser Luati is a human rights activist. His work focuses on Islamophobia and social justice for minorities, and he joins us now live from uh, Paris. Uh, Yasser, good to have you here on the News Hour. Some are saying that this is not secularism, but rather racism. Is it racist? It is racism and misogyny, as you can see now, the, the episode of this woman in the city of Dijon being humiliated by the far-right politician is no different from the story of that woman being told by the police to take off her headscarf on the beach during the Burkini hysteria. And as you can see again, France is unable to treat those women as human beings who can decide to dress as they please. And what's making things even worse is that the hysteria has been fueled by all the medias in France, and I say all of them. As a matter of fact, 86 debates took place about the Muslim head scarf. Nearly 300 people spoke about the issue, but as not a single Muslim woman wearing a headscarf was invited. So there is a deliberate intention to converge with the far right and their ideology and normalizing such hatred of Muslim women. Why do you think uh, that is? Well, of course, uh, Muslims have always been perceived as a foreign body in the French uh, nation, uh, despite being the third and fourth generation in France, despite having fought to liberate France, despite having uh, rebuilt the country after the Second World War. Muslims are still perceived as the, the, the enemy within, the same way Jews in the past were treated as such, the Polish and the Spaniards. And France has a long history of singling out and oppressing minorities. Their problem today is that not a single politician in the French government today takes Islamophobia seriously. So we use it to kind of um, divert public opinion from the deep social problems and social behaviors we are witnessing in France. But at the same time, because of the pressure and the normalization of far-right ideas, Islamophobia is perceived as a high return political investment with very low risks. Unfortunately, Muslims today are no different than Jews yesterday. Now, where, where will all this take us uh, towards to, we have no idea yet. And Emmanuel Macron has shown either weaknesses in calling out this blatant racism and misogyny or willingness to kind of make it normal. His Minister of Education even said that the Muslim headscarf is not welcome in France. His Minister of Interior, Christophe Castaner, called for people to call out and report Muslim kids and Muslim adults if they are seen as practicing Muslims. And nobody today in the French government is saying enough is enough. We are taking the country towards more confrontation. And the ones being successful in this and the winners of all that are the far right. The last point, if you, if you allow me, sir, is that we are uh, uh, about seven months away from the uh, local elections. And this is a cynical strategy by Emmanuel okay. Macron allow a rise of the far right during the next months and then pose as the saviors against them. Okay, the same okay, way yes, the election uh, took place between Macron and Le Pen. And he said that he's against stigmatizing. And this is an issue that's divided uh, politicians as well as citizens. It's, it's a country that often struggles with finding a delicate balance between individual religious freedoms and constitutionally guaranteed secularism.